Hello everyone, this is Saf again. I'm sorry, I'm making video very late, but I've seen many people. They were asking how to do the simple things, even they couldn't figure it out, and they think VSDC is kind of complicated uh, software. But I will make it easy for you. And uh, I'm sorry, I cannot make videos every day because I just changed my job and uh, I don't have enough time. So let's start it. To start a project there are different ways, one you can click here on the blank project or you can click here new project or you can click here. If you want to open the project you can click here to open the project. Also you will see uh, the recent uh, projects that you have used. You can see them on this side, right side and you can click them. So we click on the blank project to create a project. Here you can give the name of the project. You can name it right now, or you can even name it. Uh, you can name it uh, after you start the project. For example, I give it name test project. I'm giving it free configuration and using 1280 by 720 with the 30 FPS frame rate. Rest is uh, default. Now there is option to choose template. If you have any template. Uh, but I downloaded some template from VSTC website, they were uh, not the templates that we want. So you click finish. Now here your new project started. Now I will tell you how to customize your uh, interface for you to be easy. Main thing that you should notice or you should uh, keep in mind is how to make this your preview window comfortable for you because sometimes it is uh, very short like this or sometimes it is very big so this is the uh, tip if you come here it says zoom to screen if you click this your preview win uh, this preview window will uh, fit into this whole area like this if you click it see it covers the whole window now when you will resize this thing, it will automatically resize with it, see, you don't have to resize again and again. Because sometimes it happens you have uh, so many layers, you cannot see, you can make it small, uh, you can make this preview window smaller and uh, this uh, time frame window bigger. Okay, this I will keep it like that. Now on right right side, these are the properties uh, window. If you click on the project here, you will see the properties window for the projects. If you click on the scene, this window changes and you can see for scene properties. Now, if you don't see these windows, like this is a property window, this is a basic effect window, this is a resources windows, then you can uh, open them if you go here in view here you see properties window you can click and it will because I already have it so if you click once it will vanish now you click again it will appear so this is from where you can uh, appear and this make it appear and disappear you can also resize this as per your requirement it's up to you as you are comfortable and you can also resize on this side now first I will talk about this interface here these things uh, are not uh, normally used much you will use uh, undo and redo then you will use these things to align your uh, things like whether your text image or window if you want to align them this thing is to align them then uh, we will use these arrows I will show you in video then this uh, is to group and ungroup uh, the videos or photos this is very important this doesn't matter this I keep it click that shows a show margin if you click it let me show you because right now it is clicked you can see and you can see this blue line on the edges 
right if i uncheck it you will see the blue line is gone what is the benefit of this let me show you for example right now i uncheck this margin i cannot see my margin if i upload an image let me upload an image for example this image i upload this is the image and if i zoom it I mean if I want to make this image bigger like this now you cannot see your uh, how much uh, your windows screen it is, or your video screen is you have to know for that you have if you check this show margin and now you can see so this is your videos preview so now you will know which part is appearing in your video so you can adjust uh, the image accordingly if you want text or something like this so this is the benefit of this margin show margin because sometimes happens when we zoom in the image and uh, we don't know which part of the video is uh, showing in uh, which part of the image or video is showing in my video I will resize it back so this is the top view and you can also move them from if for like if you grab these you see the dots if you grab from here you can move it in the beginning or at the end you can also move them on the bottom like here see you can move them here now if you come on the side these uh, are the thing uh, we have here too this is if you click add object the same thing we have here if you want to add video, audio, image, animation, you want to add text, you want to add free shape, you want to add ellipse, rectangle, you want to add a line, you want to make a duplicate of uh, anything, for example, you want to duplicate the rectangle or video or image, then this is if you want to add the sprite. Sprite in VSDC is also very important that we will talk about later 